Hello there, people of YouTube land. This is the Dodo Wrestling Fan here today to count down my top five favorite video game franchises. Now, these are the franchises that I seem to come back to the most, the ones that I feel have the best stories to tell, and are, well, just great, at least in my opinion. So here they are, my top five favorite video game franchises. And yeah, I realized that I didn't say anything stupid in that intro like I usually do. Cute cats, cue me out! Nothing. Alright, start the countdown. Also, there might be spoilers. Number 5 is a tie between two game franchises, and those would be Kingdom Hearts and Assassin's Creed. But let's start off with Kingdom Hearts. Why do I like it so much? Well, the gameplay is fast paced. It may most of the time be mashing the X button, but take it from me. If you play these games on Proud or Critical, they can be really hard. The music of Kingdom Hearts can be really good as well. It can be quite good as awesome. But the main reason is the bosses. I can say in my heart of Kingdom Hearts. Get it? Kingdom Hearts? Heart of Hearts? Bad puns and comedy the way I roll on my channel. But I can say, back on topic, 95% of all bosses in the series are great. The other 5% are like him. What I wouldn't give to Falcon punch him in the face. Or make him watch Saving Grace. I'd be happy with either. And if you can make any sense of the massive overarching plot, then you also have great stories in each game. Oh, and another thing is, it's a really good game series with both Final Fantasy characters and Disney characters. How they pulled that off, I'll never know. I'll definitely elaborate more about the series in a future countdown. Now on to Assassin's Creed. Psst, it's a series about Scott Stapp. Now, uh, I have to find my script again, jeepers. I really, really love the parkour gameplay. Anything and everything is climbable, and the historic set pieces look great in each game. The assassins themselves are great characters. My favorite assassin is Ezio Auditore, because in my opinion he has the most personality. But they're all great in their own way. I guess the perfect way to describe Assassin's Creed is history class made fun. Also, the Hidden Blade is usually one of my favorite weapons in all of video gaming. Like I said, I'll definitely elaborate more on why I like these series so much in a later video. But now it's on to number four, and number four is that a fat Italian plumber. No, not that kind of fat Italian plumber. That one, Mario. Ah, yes, the Mario franchise. Without it, most likely the other franchises I have on this list wouldn't be here without this guy. Not him. There you go. Jeez. But I didn't just put him on here because how important he is. I put him on here because all of his games rock. Well, maybe not all of them. But most of them. Ever heard of Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Mario World, Mario 64, Sunshine, Galaxy, the list goes on and on? The stories may suck, but the quality of the games speak for themselves. And with that, let's go to number 3! Number 3 is the Devil May Cry franchise. Now, this series is the definition of underrated. I mean, the main protagonist, Dante, is my spoiler, favorite fictional character of all time. But let's talk about the games. And in my opinion, they're all really good. Yes, even DMC2. Live with it. If you don't know, DMC2 is the Sonic 06 of the DMC franchise, the game I like that everyone else hates. The games play like a Metroidvania hack and slash, where each game has a huge map and with each item or weapon you get, you can explore more of the map. The DMC franchise has an amazing plot. Hell, they even made a really good anime out of it. And with great bosses, amazing level design, and still a lot more to talk about about the DMC franchise. Now, it's time to go on to number two. Now, can somebody get me a slice of pizza and a strawberry sundae, or fill my Dark Soul with light before I get to number two that would be greatly appreciated? Thanks, and good night. Number two is The Legend of Adam Sandler, bringing you oh, bad to okay comedy since the 90s. No, it's not that legend. It's The Legend of Zelda. Now, this series comes so dang close to number one, it isn't even funny. Like Adam Sandler. Okay, okay, no more Adam Sandler bashing. Let's actually start talking about Zelda. Now, where do I even begin? There's so much to talk about. I guess I can say no other series shouts the word adventure more than Zelda. I love the dungeons, I love the bosses, I love the soundtracks, I adore the stories. Matter of fact, the first game that I think of when I think of a good video game story is Majora's Mask. And whenever Nintendo gives Link a personality like they did in Twilight Princess, he's a great character. The series also has the most iconic sword in all of gaming, the Master Sword. I'll also go on to a more wide topic. The Zelda series has been around since the 80s and have brought a lot of people joy. 
Even pe any famous people, like the late great actor Robin Williams, he even named his daughter Zelda Ray Williams after the series because he liked it so much. And with that, I'm glad that this series is a popular one, because that means it isn't going anywhere anytime soon. And that makes me really happy. But now it's time for my very obvious number one. You can probably easily tell what my number one is if you've watched my channel for any significant amount of time. Number one is the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. There is no franchise as fun, as epic, as nostalgic to me than the Sonic series. Now, is there bad games? Absolutely! Sonic 3D Blast, Sonic Labyrinth, Sonic R, just to name a few. But when the games are good, they're the best. The likes of Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Unleashed, Sonic Colors, Sonic Generations, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, Sonic CD, and beyond. The characters are great, the stories are usually good. Listen, don't, don't go showing that scene, okay? Please, I have to have a talk with my editor about this. But, actually, I don't have an editor. I'm my own editor. Well, I'm going to go talk to myself after this and give myself a stern, stern conversation. But, the main reason why it's number one is it's just so dang fun. Rolling around at the speed of sound through awesome levels like Chemical Plant or Adabat, banging my head to the amazing soundtracks each game has. No, seriously, Sonic Music is the bomb and just making me happy for the past 16 years. That's why this franchise is number one. And with that, the list concludes. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I don't think that this video was quite as good as my last one, but I still think it turned out really well. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe. This is the Dodo Wrestling Fan, signing out.